Right, welcome back to Inscription. So, last we left off, we died to the Trapper. Now, I, I won't tell a lie. I thought since I've played a bit of the way through now, I'll have a bit of a watch on YouTube, but seeing just a bit more gameplay, watching some other people doing it, um, may have accidentally stumbled on a few things. But... I'm not watching it anymore now until I've finished it, because I don't want any spoilers. But, apparently, from what I've seen, this knife we've found is absolutely key. Um, so yeah, the, the knife is absolutely key to the game. So we want to pay close attention to that. Speaking of, it looks like it's forgotten that I got that last time. Lovely. You may wish you hadn't found that knife, he says. Hmm. So, a couple of things that I've found out. It's not a lot. Um, getting rid of this... Sometimes, but not all the time. Might give you some smoke. But I think it's only if the middle one's on, perhaps? Not entirely certain. I still don't know what this does. I'm unsure as to this still. This, apparently, if you can recreate a skink and a squirrel on the board like this, you get to see behind the painting, and this will change every time. Um, I'm not sure what's behind there. I've just heard that that's a thing. Um, and this, you solve this by using the knife. And that's kind of the thing that I've stumbled across. I've also seen the second phase of the Trapper Boss, and we're going to need to strategize. It's going to get a bit difficult. I think the best one here, um, we will go, the elk is pretty solid, um, the opossum is really rubbish, but having something that comes out with bones isn't too bad, um, we don't yet have anything that comes out with bones, so, just so that we're not wasting a resource, besides if we can upgrade him, it could become quite powerful. Cheap. I've, I've found one thing is cheaper cards. Um, right, we want, yeah, we want to buff up the opossum here. So, the opossum, ooh, we can get to the trapper here. We could try this fight, and then perhaps, if we've got some uh, money, go to the trapper, otherwise go there, maybe? But yes, the, uh, the opossum, if we can, one thing I'm noticing is, because of the game being quite quick, you're unlikely to get uh, particularly large and damaging creatures in play. So, big hefty monsters, you don't want maybe more than one or two in your entire deck, really. Can I click on the spider? Get him! Get him! Oh. I'm going to get the bullfrog out. And I think... Yes, we'll sacrifice the bullfrog, bring the wolf out. Sure, the kingfisher can get us then but the wolf will do so much damage. 
We'll start going back in the enemy direction now. <coughs> I'll surrender. Never. Oh, we can cheese this, perhaps. Right. Let's get us some stuff. Ooh, not quite. So we shouldn't go trapper. What does this mean? This must... When, when, I, I'll be honest, I'm beginning to suspect there's more and more going off that I don't quite realise. And I'm wondering if the mushroom is trying to tell me something. If that's the game's way of hinting at something, or if it's just a random mushroom. You know what? If the mushroom is meaning... If it means something, then when I reroll... Oh! The tyrannical Great White, a master of the deep. And another fallen player. Costs a lot. Ooh, he's got a decent bit of health and he kills everything on touch. That's not bad. But then we could just, you know, have a fish. And this submerges itself so that it then, um. I'll submerge a <coughs> So this could be a really good way, if we get this to 5 uh, attack, this is almost an instant kill if we get this out. So that's pretty good. Um, these two are probably the play, one or the other. Because this could be a death blow to him. Um, whereas this, <coughs> if we get his health up a bit, because the attack is meaningless, he kills everything. If we get the health up quite a bit, and there's only three bones, that's rather cheap. We're going to go Reginald. That was a tough choice, that. Um, can't take more than three, and you have three. Instead, perhaps I'll accept this gift from my friend. Ooh, never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. That's interesting. Now, do we want to do a more difficult fight, or a regular fight? We can choose a random card, or a card from a particular family. We don't yet have a totem, so that's not particularly useful. But we could start hedging our bets, trying to collect similar creatures. Um. Maybe so. Or alternatively, we can get something that costs a certain amount. But I don't want the more difficult fight. You don't get more rewards based on the difficulty of the fight, so why bother? Stoats becoming more unusually shaped. Wolf cub. Hmm. I can probably get that with the stoat. Right, stoat, you're killing the wolf cub. Oh, there's an alpha behind. That's going to be annoying. Hmm. Right, we'll put down the squirrels. And he'll give us another squirrel. Free card. <laughs> right. I 
I think that's going to be enough. And a little bit extra. We've not got a lot of money. So we could certainly use some more of that. Um, we're currently... Let's see. We've got... Not really going in any particular direction in terms of cards being from a certain uh, group. But I'll get more wolves. Well, canine. Uh, right, I've got a bloodhound. Not bad. But a small critter approached. <laughs> we are going to have some real good item economy from this. <laughs> right, just use items constantly. I now have a brilliant item economy, so I should utilise that. Um, for example, so here it's going to do, they're going to do two damage. This has two health. Hmm. But what we can do... is put down this Ooh, nasty coyotes coming up aren't they we'll give it a turn Yes. <laughs> and we'll get a totem here. We'll see if we can get something for wolves. Skunk. So we know what that does. It reduces the strength of enemies that are attacking them. And we've got a mushroom again. See if we can get something particularly great. A mantis. Porcupine. So those that attack it take one damage. I assume one, it's got a number one in it. Single damage point, yes, okay. I'm gonna go mantis. We could get that bonus on a more powerful unit. I mean we've seen what it can do in terms of damage. So that could really be something nasty. Okay, our units will hide, and it's for rodents, I suppose? Right, Prospector. Yeehaw. So uh, squirrels are now <laughs> squirrel marines. The marine squirrels. Nothing can stop them. Okay. Now, what's important here? Possum is going to be quite a good kill for that coyote. I'm glad we buffed him up. Um, the smoke we can just leave out in the hopes that something uh, hits it. And we want to get that pack mule killed. Right. 
let's start getting some economy up. We want to use our items because we are going to get more. Let's get something played. So we need something that's going to do a little bit of damage. Not tons. It only needs to be one. We want to be very conservative with the way we play this. So that's going to kill that. Right. Now we've got some space on the board. can take something like say the bloodhound here and we will kill the wolf we're moving back in his direction uh, at this point Could use a mole. <laughs> Reginald. Why, hello. Right. We've got a massive pile of bones. Um, but I'm about to win this one. So... We'll let that ride. There's gold in them there cards. <laughs> Okay, what are we gonna go? We've got two squirrels, so I could get the pronghorn. I'll see what other cards. Great draw. What are you slowly turning into, Stinky? The pronghorn is three and attacks in two directions. Hmm. I'm going to go with Reginald here. And we're going to get a stink bug out on the field. So we fill the board. Let's remove them. We can get a wolf in. Well, we can. We'd need more room to be able to sacrifice things. Um, Which note I'm actually gonna throw the coyote in. Right, um Get some more squirrels. Need them gold nuggets removed. There we go. Pack rat. That should be good.
Okay, we got the we got the hourglass. Okay. <laughs> That's an item. Do we just win this turn? No, no, look at the okay, come on, can I no I have to decide on something. Just grab a squirrel. Right. I want to look at the scales. Right, there we go. Yeah, I think we might just win. Um I don't think we can get more damage in his overkill because that adder was in the way, so we wouldn't have got more overkill. You will not perish quite yet. Perhaps one of these will entice you. So, rare cards, let's see. The Amalgam. A Strange Lava. And the Dows. So this will create basically a blockade, but it's quite costly. It's not bad. I wanted stats to be better. This, I have actually seen this now. It takes it goes from a lava into a pupa and then it apparently turns into something ridiculous after that right i think that what we'll go for is because th this is going to take too long and it's very vulnerable i mean it, it does have three hearts so it's not overly vulnerable but I don't think if you buff it up either, I don't think it even counts, because it will... I don't know, I'd have to find out, but I'm sure that it changes card afterwards, so... I think just go for the Dows, I guess. See if I can buff him up a bit. Maybe. <laughs> Wetlands. So, a improved creature. We do not need items, and I do not want a more difficult fight. I think this route. Um, looking forwards. Got tons ahead. We've got a sacrifice there. So I'm probably going to go this route. Must be at least four attack power. At least six health. At least five bones. Most of our stuff does not cost bones. It would have to literally be these two. We'd have to have a perfect... Oh no, there's the stink bug. Um, six health. Uh, dubious. Maybe. Four attack. Honestly, highly likely. Um, four attack. Yep, yep, great. We've got a wolf. Um, we don't want to sacrifice the great white. I don't know why you would want that. Um, poisonous rats. Maybe. When an empty space will be struck, a card bearing visage will move to that space and receive a strike instead. I suppose hmm. the the, worthy, the Great White is just a solid, powerful card, right? The worthy sacrifice thing is meaningless. Um, the Rat King. That's actually really good on this card, it's just the actual card itself is not great. I mean, it's like, okay, it gives you four bones. Ooh, I'm not really playing that much of a bone deck. I mean, I guess I could get more bone cards, but you'd be reliant on this card very heavily then. This just being able to go underwater, and the, the sigil on it is meh, but the actual card is good. 
I'm going to get the Great White. So, we can enhance something's health. Now, if we were to make something have better health, what would we want to go for? I think we want our lower cost, the, the lower cost cards always benefit more from these things. Um, the downs. A chime is played on each empty adjacent space um, when a card ah when it's played For some reason I thought it was when he was hit but no um, okay hmm honestly I'm considering the opossum we'll go mantis actually the, the mantis is really weak anything that we can get to buff him up would be really good and it's very cheap Now we might be able to survive a little bit longer. We might be able to take a hit, perhaps. Right, our super squirrels are ready. The squirrel marines. Right. So we've got some airborne things. Well, we've got an airborne and an airborne defense unit. They're not particularly powerful. What can we play? If we get a few things killed, we can start going for that wolf. Um, not a great start, but... Now we can begin doing some work. River Otter. That's not good. Bullfrog. Not bad. Not bad at all. That wolf won't have much long for this world. That might tip us, yes. And an extra two for his triples. Right. Let's pick a new card. I've been trying to stick to the wolves. We have got some uh, bugs now. Uh, we've got a mantis. Uh, and we do have the stink bug. So we do have two. Um, I'm going to keep with the wolves. Uh, hmm. Right. Who is getting sacrificed is the question. I'm looking at these honestly, there's none that I'm like, whoa, yeah, that ability would be so good on X. Oh, actually. Ooh. I'm sorry, Reginald. But. Needs must. Behold! Mantis Man! <laughs> He's the hero we need. In our time of need, it, you see, yeah. He's the hero we need. Right, um, Kingfisher, Coyote, Kingfisher. That's four damage coming down. Hmm. If 
she had a bit more damage, eh? I don't think the Kingfisher attacks him, though. So if we put him there, he might be safe, actually. Yeah. And now we'll just kill that coyote for free. <laughs> we have tricked him, you see. Right. We have a full item uh, thing of items on the board. Right, let's get some damage in. If he's not going to show his head, if we're all going to hide in the sand, well, sea in this case, if we're all going to bury their heads under the sea, then we'll just kill. Uh, we'll just kill the dungeon master. Sod him. If he's going to be a coward. Now here's my question, I'm going to do a little experimenting here. Will the squirrel submerge? Oh, it absolutely does. We can just have squirrels on the board everywhere. Not that it's any real use, but we can do it. Go. Money. Lovely. We do have a bit of money. Yeah. On the house. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. We can buy one. Now, I don't see a shop up ahead, and I'm not overly fussed with... I mean, we could go for the totem, because we've not got a very good totem at the moment. It's our squirrels, and, well, yeah, our squirrels are capable of going underwater. Eh? I would much rather have something else. Um, but then we could just upgrade something and we'd have to fight a totem fight here, which can be difficult. Do I want a totem that badly? No. Would I prefer to upgrade a card? Yes. One attack. We know who has to have the attack. I mean, sure, he doesn't need it because of poison. Yeah, sure, he doesn't need it. But, if there isn't anything there, it deals tons of extra damage on the scale. So, yeah, I'm going for that. Um,. Worker ants, they're going to need to be dealt with. Oi! Oi! Spider, go away! Huh. Can't really do anything about this. Ooh, that was very painful. It's time to cheat. Great. 
Who let that dog out? Ow. Hope this works. Get him. We're managing to hold them off. Scoop. I think he's out. That should be some uh, extra currency. Yeah, there we go. A little bit. Not loads, but a nice smidge. Um, let's try and see if we can get anything good here. I'd like some more bone creatures. It's not bad. We're doing pretty good for items. We've got some good ones. I'm hoping to use... Um, yeah, I'm hoping to use our um, larger items here on the next boss fight. Perhaps even save some for the trapper. So, one extra attack. You know, let's get the Great White. The Great White could be really good. As much as the Mantis being more powerful is important, remember, five, if we get this somehow early on, if we can get that uh, before... Well, it's quite early on in a fight. We can almost... The, the Great White is basically a finishing move. If he's out, he can't be hit and will do five damage. Here's the Angler. Maybe could have played that there, but it would only mean that it gets attacked. Right, he'll be stealing a card soon. Deals four damage. One, two, three, four. Mm. One, two, three, four. I think this will kill me. I don't want to steal one of these rubbish creatures either. I'd prefer something good. This is not going to be good. Yeah. 
So I found out what the knife does. <laughs> That's what the knife does. Um, video quality might be down a bit now because part of the screen is just black from now on. <laughs> okay. Um, we could block a damage with the squirrel. I'd prefer not to. I'm getting my wolf back. He's not having my wolf. <laughs> Got a trophy for it as well. Right. Having a real to and fro, aren't we? Start. That's odd. At the moment, it's just going back and forth. We're going to have to get this out just to get some uh, additional damage and such here. Right. Oh, I still get the bones from the smoke. <laughs> Interesting. We've got him. Finally. About time. Go fish. Right. We have a great white. Hmm. Let's put the, those strategically in front of all of my units. Now here's the thing. Here's the interesting thing here. Um if we kill our units, they will not summon Great Whites. Right? And the Great White does five. There we go. One shot. Told you we wanted that on five. <laughs> Boom. I've found out as well what's good about the Gek. Doesn't look like much, but notice something. No cost. This is a zero cost card. Um, I think this just, uh, yeah, we just get a copy. It doesn't, nothing particularly special. Um, I'm gonna go for the Gek. You're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Glowy one. So 
So into the into the snowy forest. So what's interesting? So as as I mentioned, I have seen this is about as much as I'd seen up to now. Well, I've I've seen the next phase of the trappers uh, battle. Um. But this is how we figure this out. Stunted wolf. Take the film mill before he sees it. Now. Nothing. We're doing nothing. <laughs> Okay. Show me some exquisite pelts. Oh, I have a few. Hair pelts. Now, I think that improving our economy could be really good here. So I think that the cat might be a good call. Following that, um now what is this yeah, so this doesn't get removed when you find something then bell ringer I assume it's something to do with the end of the turn so maybe it, does its attack increase after each turn because the bell is on the attack icon maybe probably something like that could be powerful, costs two. The beehive might not be bad as well. One power, one health. Airborne. I think some solid economy cards. If we can buff this thing's health. Ooh, gold. Right, here we go. Um, that will require us to sacrifice our entire board. A mole man. Burrower. Uh, so when an empty space is struck, he dives in the way. And. Mighty leap. So airborne defense. I'll just go for something big and stompy. I, I hope that we find this card if we die. Because we can use it on our death card. You have my gratitude. We've got some good stuff there. Trapper coming up as well. Powerful opossum. Yeah, that's really good. That. Um, the extra turn is amazing. Uh, no, you can't use that item. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. This strikes me as some kind of thing that's outside of the game. So that, I'm gonna keep that around. I see that. Okay, so they're having a nice little chat. The plan's coming together, whatever the plan is, that I'm not quite clued into yet, but... Okay, now. The stoat's definitely turning into something slowly here. Is it turning into a phone? Or a camera, perhaps? Something. Uh, we could get a 1-3 out. Him. Ooh. Stunt Wolf is pretty good. Stunt Wolf will kill that in one. Right. Squirrel. Wolf. Here we are.
can't stop them birds, but we can perhaps kill that elk when it comes through. I'm going to put the opossum in the way of one of those just to buy some time. Actually, it won't buy time because they fly over the top. Damn. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? Hmm. Get a squirrel. Oh, thank God, it's something that costs bones. I think we've got much money left, but it'll give us a free one at least. Now, do we have any duplicate cards? We've got some duplicate wolves. Um, and pack rats, but we don't really want powerful pack rats, we want more of them because it's the utility we value. But a super wolf wouldn't be bad. They are not victims. <laughs> we'll go with the wolves. Must defeat him first. Okay. Oh God! Why is there a moose book? Um. Let's just not. Just start dealing damage, throwing the scales back. Um, if we just think of the Gek as a free squirrel, then, right, let's put the wolf there. Is that actually enough to win? Oh no, they, they jumped in the way. Yeah, that's an issue. Oh, that's going to be painful. Yep. teeth. I'm a bit alert to use them now. Right, we have to keep coming back through here then. As time goes by. Just in case there's more teeth randomly there. Hmm. 
ultimate cheap. Yeah, wolf cubs pretty good. And we could use some more items. They're just that's just good. Second one, yes please. Difficult fight. Now we've got another backpack coming up that we can't avoid, so we should use both of these in this in this game. Okay, we need to do something about those eggs. And that porcupine's gonna have to get something done as well. That porcupine only does one uh, damage. Well, I'm gonna exploit the hell out of that. Gek, go! Should have put that out last turn as well, but my mistake. Ooh, it isn't good. A mantis, you say? Ooh. Very interesting. So we'll use our freebie. <laughs> freebie, get it. <laughs> anyway, we will be using that. That should get rid of a lot of this. Um, I'm also going to pop a coyote down. That should do a fair bit. what else we can get here. Bullfrog. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Go with one. We'll just get a random card. Ooh, a grizzly. Grizzlies aren't bad. But we are getting a lot of birds. Hmm, no, not birds, sorry, a lot of bones. Grizzly, vulture, grizzly, vulture, grizzly. Hmm. We have got a decent sacrifice game now. We'll diversify. We already have something big anyway, and we don't want to clog our deck. Oh, yeah, just being able to destroy something. I need to stop playing these possums in front of airborne targets. Like a moron. Here's the trapper then. With the really spooky music. <laughs> really reminds me of Hunt Showdown if you've played it. It really does the music. So these. They're airborne defense. And whatever killed. whatever hits this. So I want to put weaker creatures against these. Gek! Away!
just keep getting rid of them. Use me wisely. Yes, I am using you incredibly wisely. Now, please walk into that trap. <laughs> This should start to turn around. Ah, oh, I, f mm, I forget that it's airborne. <laughs> oh, we're getting closer. We're consistently getting to the trapper now. Cost three. How the hell? Oh god, really? Really? Not one of the powerful cards then, it's giving me the trash. Sigils. Give me some. Fr At least I get a piece of gear. Boom, there we go. Right, that'll call it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. That foul, stunted wolf. You really want such a creature in your deck? The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt, so it stands. Okay, they are absolutely like getting more and more like something else now. I think is that like a clown or mime or something? And he is like a computer or something? I'm not certain. He's turning into something as well. Is is his teeth man? They're turning into like a beard or mustache. Anyway. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.